Hey, this is a pretty somber time, but um, I had to do it. So hopefully we're about to uh, turn this tie-dye tea, important company brand, into something uh, special. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are in Acrorip 9. Uh, and I've done, we're starting this out on a 4x6, so I wanted to have this image imported, and this was uh, the rapper DMX from the 90s, mid, to, I'll say mid, early, no, early 2000s, uh, up to the present. Uh, you know, he uh, lost his fight today for his life. And so a lot of people, like I said, this is a somber time, but I just kind of wanted to make this t-shirt. It'll be good for somebody, I'm sure. Uh, but, you know, I just wear blank t-shirts, but it'll be a gift for someone. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, but here we are. Uh, this was my four by six that we did. Uh, but all I've done is I've right clicked here. I'm gonna open the job and I do this so that it saves the settings. But um, once it imports, it'll actually be there, but this is still sized to four by six. So we're gonna go to view, template, and I have these preset. So if you want it to change the size, you would just type in the values for the width and the height. And for A3 size, it's gonna be 11.69 by, I believe, 17. But I already have a preset, or I'm sorry, it's gonna be 11.69. Don't listen to me. 11.69 by 16.54. And then you just hit apply. Or if you're doing this for the first time, you will wanna save it, and then it's just going to prompt you to rename it. That way you can have like a, a, a little legend there for you, presets. So, this is set to 20% for the uh, ink limit or the color output as, as I call it. And this determines how rich your image is gonna be. And so for this one, it was a little bit dull. And so, we went from 20% to 30%. And I like the 30 better. You may not be able to tell, but it's a little, more rich. So what I'm gonna do is come over here and just bump this up to 30%. Don't forget to right click and mirror your image or you'll regret it. Have 100% for the white. Some people say this too much. Some people recommend 70, but I've known 100, so that's what I do. You also have these preview functions here for the white, so you can see what the white channel is gonna look like. But I keep it on this so I can make sure there's no, I haven't uploaded a JPEG or something like that. We don't want the gradient white underneath this because it's gonna be a dark garment, the shirt that I just showed you guys. So we're gonna go 100% white underneath and we have a choke of five pixels around all sides of each of these edges so that no white appears. There won't be any sort of bounding box or white ink under base or over base, I guess it would be, uh, or like an overlay because it's printed on the film upside down basically. Um, shouldn't have to do anything here. I set this at max DPI because that's me. Uh, some people keep this on mix. I follow Joss's uh, instruction and do medium and large. So we're pretty much about ready to uh, to send the shop over. So we're going to hit print. And it takes a little while for the job to be batched. Both of these tickers are checked. If I were going to print with just white, I would leave this selected and deselect this. And now, while this is importing, or parsing the file for the job. I'm gonna come over here 
to the L 1800 and I'm going to load one sheet. I like to load one sheet at a time so that I don't get any sort of loading errors. I'm sure I could load more, but just don't want there to be any waste. Wow, that was almost perfect. All right, and I'm just tucking my hand back here and making sure I push that way so that it's flat since the film is heavier than a paper. And so while we're waiting on this, uh, I could just talk about uh, the tragedy, at least of what's alleged uh, with DMX. Um, if you're not interested, you know, just hang tight. But it's it's sad. I think we can all agree that it's sad when anyone loses their life, you know. But uh, I did want to, I needed to make a, another video for the channel. And I had this tie-dye shirt lying around that I didn't know, you know, what was going to become of it. So I think this will be a nice design. Hopefully, uh, it's enough contrast to where it comes out the way I believe it will. But we'll see. But yeah, you know, it's uh, interesting. They say that, you know, on your tombstone, I know this is somber, man. It's pretty uh, bad. But on your tombstone, you're going to have a date where you were born and the day you know, where you expire, and we tend to accept the fact that the dash is the most important because you get to you get to decide what you do with that dash in the middle of that, uh, your born date and your death date. You determine what you do with that dash. And so always remember that, especially when someone passes on, uh, that you can find little moments that, that will kind of make someone happy. This t-shirt's going to make someone happy. Doubt I'll sell it unless it's just people really, really want us to do it. Uh, but, you know, put value back into the world or it won't really matter, you know, what that person that passed on uh, the knowledge that they gave to you make sure that they live on through the knowledge that they that they passed on to you so uh, I thought that that was enough talk but we got a little bit longer here and it the, the larger the file the longer it takes you know uh, to to send over and I've heard that Acrobat 10 prints Faster, it has a rip booster. Forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, but a booster rip, a rip booster that's supposed to almost double the speed of the L1800. If any of you veterans watching this video out there know this to be fact, please put it in the comments because I definitely will upgrade. Okay, I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so we are back here. We always get people that come in the store. You get to meet new people and converse with them. And it's good to see people with that entrepreneurial spirit. And then they... They pass that on to their children as well. It's, it's something special, man. Okay, so here we are. I try not to run these designs to the edge that often be for these reasons so that you don't get any fingerprints or anything on it. 
don't worry about over powdering this stuff because um, you can't really put too much powder onto the back of this film. It's pretty hard to mess it up. I think it's more important to make sure you get a nice coating on it. I shouldn't have run this print all the way to the edge, but I want it, it to be as large as possible. This is going to be on a size XL shirt. And I like to do a diagonal pattern like this here. And then straighten it out. So that you get even coverage. And I'm just doing that so that I don't get this all on my hands. And if you're watching this and you're wondering on the consistency of the powder, it's not anything like a fine powder that's going to get in the air like a baby powder or something like that. I've never inhaled this stuff, at least not knowingly. But yeah, this looks pretty good, all things considered. Now we're going to take this over to the heat press. They have a hover press and a swing press. And we allow it to hover over the print, which I'll demonstrate. Okay, so we have our print here. And I have a piece of parchment underneath because sometimes you get adhesive, uh, the, the crystal powder on the underside when you're powdering, or at least I do, I can't speak for anyone else. Uh, but I don't, do not want that getting on my lower platen here. Just gonna lay that flat. And we're at 320 for about two minutes, give or take. If you want it to cure faster, you could just leave the press actually hovering over the lower platen. And remember, we aren't pressing down, we're just letting it hover so that it can bake it. I don't want to have, you know, a convection oven or anything like that. I just believe in simplicity. And who knows, maybe this isn't the most efficient way to do it, but it's just simplistic right now. You know, when we start pumping transfers out and get a lot more orders, Maybe we might add something like that, but I just don't see any purpose in doing it un until we have more of a uh, an influx of work, I guess. All right, a little bit over time here, but look, it's good. It hasn't turned to a glossy look yet. It's nice and smooth. You can easily tell if it's still damp, which this is ready to go. Man, it's just crazy to know that he, he passed away, man. But that's, we are only here for a, whatever, like finite period of time. Okay, so I've been in business 10 years and I still use a lint shaver on every single shirt that we do. And so if you ever see a video where I'm pressing t-shirts and you don't see me use this thing or a lint roller, that means I've already prepped it before the video. So I'm hoping we'll get a lot, of, a lot more contrast in this design. I just really thought I would use this shirt for that image. I'm thinking that I may uh, 
I've made not a mistake, but I probably should have used the uh, black TPU powder for the sole purpose of not causing dye migration because these are tie dyed. So let's hope that the white doesn't look all funky. But I wanted to call it so that any of you veterans out there don't call me a noob. <laughs> That's something I should have known, but hey, you can't win them all. Let's bring this down just a little bit. Right now I'm at 320 for about 15 seconds. Just folding this over so that I don't prematurely rip this up here. We're gonna lay this on this glass. Here's a little pro tip. If you use glass to help with the cold peel in terms of uh, the glass operating at a lower room temperature, it'll help that garment cool off a little faster, a lot of bit faster actually. And even rubbing it over, I could already kind of feel the back side of the shirt cooling off that fast. Just peel it, no special way. Peel, peel it as fast or slowly as I want to. Just do one final press here. I like to embed it into the fibers of the garment. If you want a matte finish, you're going to want to use a craft paper or, I mean, it's an old sheet, but a piece of parchment. And if you want a glossy finish, you can use a Teflon sheet. Don't want to put too much heat on the second press or dwell time, dwell time rather. And here we go. The thing, it's ready to make someone's day who listened to him in his uh, former years. know if this is out of focus but you can see the fibers I mean it's a little bright Let's see if I can you can see it in the print yeah so this is great all right Stay tuned for more content that we'll be putting out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, once I start uploading more often, feel free to hit that notification bell. That's what everyone says. So <laughs> help me grow this channel and I have some more things in store. Uh, and I can't end this without saying uh, rest in peace to DMX. 
uh, Dark Man X for y'all uh, y'all who remember that name. But uh, yeah, we're out of here. Stay elegant.